Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, an incredibly momentous day. We finally hit 1 million views here on Sneaker Stories. So first things first, a huge thank you to all of you who continue to watch my videos here, my humble sneaker reviews of different pairs that I get in from time to time. I really do appreciate you guys sticking around and for subscribing. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the like button on this video. It really does help with the algorithm. But today, an exciting giveaway to come as well. More details on that at the end of this review. But first things first, I really wanna look at the Ultra Boost 6.0 DNA that Adidas has just recently released here in South Africa and of course around the world globally. It's one of the coolest Ultra Boost DNAs that I've personally seen for some time. So if you stick around till the end of this video, you can find out how you can win a pair of these right here with Sneaker Stories and of course Adidas. So with that said, let's check them out. All right, so it's absolutely no secret that I'm a huge fan of Adidas Ultra Boost. I have a hell of a lot of them. This is, I think, only about half that can fit on my display here. It's just been one of my favorite shoes all the way back from 2015. I've had all different generations of them, and I really do get excited when Adidas bring a new Ultra Boost out. Now, of course, they have taken a more performance angle with the Ultra Boost 1920. However, for those of us who've always preferred the more of a lifestyle attribute on the Ultra Boost, the Ultra Boost DNA series is exactly that. It's giving consumers what they want from a lifestyle perspective, you know, from those kind of early pairs like the 1.0s, 2.0s, 3.0s uh, of Ultra Boost, of course. And this kind of merges all of those together in a sustainably produced shoe. Now I'm gonna get into the details of Parley and all of that. You guys know that I'm a massive fan of sustainable ocean plastic being used in these shoes with Adidas and I'll get into the details of that first. But just gonna stick to the usual review and starting underneath with the outsole over here, you've got the standard Ultra Boost Continental rubberized outsole over here, just done in a flat black with a matching black torsion system, of course. And then flipping into the midsole of the shoe, it is the standard Ultra Boost midsole. So this is gonna give you extreme comfort underfoot. If you guys haven't tried Boost yet, that would be absolutely insane because it has been here for around six years already. It really just is uncomparable to anything else, in my opinion. Like, I pretty much live in Boost day to day, like if I'm really honest, if I'm on my feet all day, I'm generally picking out something that has boost in it, uh, whether that's ultra boost, solar boost, or whatever it might be from Adidas. But when you move into the upper of the shoe, this is where the majority of changes have come into play with the ultra boost 6.0 DNA, specifically around the upper. Now I did allude to poly ocean plastics being used in the manufacturing and the sustainability process of the shoe, and that is completely true. In fact, there is a poly version of the ultra boost 6.0 DNA, which is also available along with one other the color which is kind of a merge between this crew blue and non-dyed colorway and just the normal sort of plain aesthetic that you get from that version and that's definitely got more of a poly aesthetic to it it's got logos and things on it so that's also another colorway option which you guys might prefer if you're looking for a bit of a cleaner look but when it comes to the actual knit used here it's a full sock like construction used in this prime knit upper but it does use prime blue which is poly's ocean plastic and adidas's recycled knit that they use and 75 percent of this upper is created that so it's a very sustainable shoe and for Further to that, they have used other sustainable materials in the cage and heel, but we'll get to that in a moment. Staying with the knit though, this does comprise patterns from 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and even like sort of 4, 5.0 towards the top here. So as the name suggests, you really are getting the DNA of all of those lifestyle variants of the Ultra Boost represented in the upper here. It's incredibly soft, it's very, very elastic and stretchy, and it really does hug your ankle and your entire foot actually. Uh, once in. My absolute favorite change up that they've included on the 6.0 DNA has to be this cage and the new heel cup system over here. This is a completely new technology which they're calling Milgard Ocean C and it's basically a polymer or a unique polymer that's been created uh, from old fishing nets and repurposed plastics and it is it's such a cool aesthetic. It's got like a beautiful texture to it. It's very, very stiff. So you're getting the support where you need it most, especially here in the cage and the heel section of the shoe. And then from an aesthetical point of view, you've also just kind of got this dual layered kind of fused overlay here uh, in the heel section. And that's highlighted with the Ultra Boost branding as we would used to see on them. 
uh, which is done in a bright blue. Now, when it comes to the laces, one set of these sort of flat off-white sail colored laces provided with the shoes, they match up perfectly with the coloration here. One thing I did notice, the aglets are insanely long and thin. It almost looks like they've used the same kind of repurposed plastic uh, that you found in the cage over here within the aglets of the shoe, just basically locking that all in. It's quite unique something I've never really seen before. Not that it's a massive standout feature or anything like that, but it ties into the rest of the shoe. Now towards the top section of the upper over here, you've also got the Adidas Performance logo, which has been embroidered into this white patch in bright blue. And that of course is on both of the shoes. Now, if you do get that Parley version of it, uh, it will have the Parley logo on that shoe there, which I'll just show you with the overlay. That one also is definitely coming into my collection. I absolutely love that. And seeing this version right now in hand, or this colorway rather, I'm absolutely obsessed with the cage and the heel cup here. The whole package is actually just really good. Now on foot, these things are immensely comfortable. From a sizing perspective, I do have a true size UK9 over here and they fit me absolutely perfectly. They are quite snug just because of the narrow sort of opening that you get here with this prime blue and prime that upper with sock-like construction, of course. It's not kind of like that padded mesh tongue that you would usually get on any other sort of ultra boost over here, uh, which basically made the opening a little bit wider for you, but it's not something that's impossible to get in. Like it kind of merges ultra boost 19 uh, Ultra Boost 20 in with an Ultra Boost 1.0. So you really are getting like a complete mismatch or kind of the DNA, I guess, using that name again, uh, in the 6.0. Now, speaking about that padding you used to get in the tongue, you have still got that in the heel section here, so you can be sure that around your ankle of this is gonna be incredibly comfortable. Uh, and the inside of that really is just done in a straight white mesh. From an insole perspective, we can just get these out. This is an insane insole. I love seeing new kind of insoles, or at least a new color. It is like a standard Ultra Boost insole, but never seen one in green before. And the top of that is done in kind of this toweling fabric of some sort with the prime blue made with poly ocean plastic imprint just in the heel and that is of course on both insoles if you do go for the poly version of it which is still available it does have an incredible insole as well which i cannot wait to see in hand with the reef and sort of like ocean graphic and poly logo on it as well so either way with any of these colorways you go with the ultra boost 6.0 in my opinion, all of them are absolutely amazing. It's definitely a shoe that you're gonna be able to use for lifestyle purpose. It's not really something I would probably recommend you go running in. If you are looking for more of a performance orientated Ultra Boost, definitely take a look at the Ultra Boost 21, which has a whole bunch of performance upgrades and definitely is more running focused or performance focused. This is the one that you can wear all day at work. You can wear all day on the weekends. It's a shoe that you can really just dress up and dress down while getting the maximum comfort out of the shoe. Now, from a pricing point of view, these are available for retail at 3,299 Rand here in South Africa. And for those of you watching from the States, $180 there. Now, overall speaking, it is quite a high price point for a more lifestyle oriented version of the Ultra Boost. It's not like too far out. I think most Ultra Boosts were around the 3,000 Rand mark. Uh, at least for the last few years. And that's just with an increase of inflation, exchange rates, all of that that have come into play as well with getting the shoes and selling them here locally. We've seen the same thing across the Yeezys and all other kind of shoes as well. But honestly, in my opinion, I still think that's worth it for a sustainably made Ultra Boost over here. The aesthetic of it looks really good on feet. They look amazing. I'm a huge fan of the shape and ultimately the comfort that it provides as well. Now, as mentioned in the beginning of this review, to celebrate 1 million views here on Sneaker Stories, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway way of exactly this pair in your size if it is still available by the time we draw the winner and to enter the competition all you need to do is find the competition post on the sneakerstories.tv instagram page i'll put a link in the description and overlay it there for you guys you tag three friends in the comments as usual put your uk size uh, and we'll be drawing a winner sometime very soon. All details will be on the Sneaker Stories TV IG page uh, via a live draw, of course, and with the winner taking a pair of these incredible shoes home with them in their size. But once again, just a huge thank you to all of you for all your support, your subscriptions, your likes, your continuous watching uh, of the Sneaker Stories TV channel. This really did just start as a passion project of me sharing kicks from my collection. It's now sort of grown into something a lot bigger, which I really enjoy doing every single day. And I'm really excited to just keep growing and seeing what comes next. Uh, we've got some really exciting things here with Story Cape Town, our marketplace here in Cape Town, of course, and some really exciting news 
uh, to build on top of that. So definitely stick around to take a look at what's coming next from Sneaker Stories and of course Story Cape Town. We definitely have some very exciting things on the way. So that's all for today, guys. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe right here for more reviews, unboxings, and content down the line. That is all from me for today, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.